Hey guys, welcome back to Little Boy Customs. Today I'm going to be working on this door here and making a little shop art. Alright guys, so you may recognize this door. This is the door that was on the uh, truck when I wrecked it back in October. It's got extensive body damage to it. Uh, you can see right down here and uh, all up in through here and then all those holes right there are where I was trying to pull these dents back out before I bought the new door. So I had two choices. I could either throw this on the scrap pile and get rid of it or I decided, you know what? I've never put a logo on a door before and this is a great door to try that out on. Now, everything that I would normally use to uh, put a logo on a door, the type of paint, that kind of stuff, I don't have and I'm not going to go out and purchase in order just to try it out on this door because whenever I finish the actual truck over here, I am not going to have logos on the door. So the paints that I would use I'll put, uh, I'll show pictures of those right here. And, uh, but the paint I'm actually going to use is just car model paint. And so the reason why I'm going to use car model paint is because this door is always going to be inside. It's going to be hung up on the shop wall. I'm not going to have to worry about the weather getting to it and all that stuff. And so I think car model paint will work okay for what I'm doing because it's going to be an indoor, uh, door metal art thing. So. I have practiced on my logo that I'm going to do. This right here is my logo, which is the YouTube channel logo. The only thing it's missing is the words on it. I painted this on my wall here and uh, I did all that with uh, some stuff called Unicorn Spit. And uh, it's more like a wood staining painting type stuff. You can use it as a stain or you can use it as a paint. I used it as paint here. This came out really, really well. And so I've decided that it'd be way cool to do the exact same thing on this door. And then I've always got a door with a logo on it to hang up. On the back side here is uh, tons and tons of weight that I don't need. And this glass that's inside here, I'm not going to keep it either. The side glass, I'm planning on keeping that just to make it look good uh, hanging up on the wall. But I want to make this thing as light as possible. And in order to do that, I'm going to try and take all the guts out of it and then also take a plasma and cut as far up and around as I can to, re to reduce the uh, amount of weight that's on this thing. So let's get that taken care of first, get the glass out and get all the weight off of it that I can get off of it with the plasma machine. All right, guys, as you can see, we got everything out of the door. We even took uh, everything that attached the uh, hinges to the door. All of it's taken out. So this is as light as we're going to get the door. I did take out the glass as well. I took out the track or cut it off up here at the top right there. Maybe I can learn how to point by looking at the camera. I left this track in, not because I needed to, just I didn't see the reason of cutting it off right now. And I started to take all those dents out by beating them out, and I decided, you know what? I kind of don't want to do that because this is the truck I wrecked. So, so I was going to sand all this side of the door down and then paint it all white and all this other stuff. And I've decided I don't really want that. Uh, so I kind of like the rust at the bottom. And so I'm going to set this up and get it ready for me to draw out my logo and then get it painted. So if you're anything like me, you really suck at drawing. Um, that's not my forte. I'm not very good at drawing. So I can't just freehand my logo onto this door. Now there is lots of different things that you could use to get that up there. Um, some of the things that I have is one of these projector things here. What you would do is put uh, your logo on a piece of paper, put the paper down, set this on it. This would project the light up onto the uh, object and that's that's how I used to do it all the time. That's pretty <laughs> I was pretty fortunate the other day and I went to an auction here in my local town and I found this Epson uh, projector. Worked great. There was nothing wrong with it. Got it on super, super cheap. 
And so uh, I'm going to use my, my computer, plug it into this, and make this project up onto the uh, door. And we'll get our logo traced out onto the door. Projector is fired up. And I have an old logo with my old business name uh, down here. I'm not going to do the lettering that's on any of this. All I'm going to do is the dog and the wagon. And then uh, I'll probably come back and do the lettering for the correct lettering uh, afterwards. At first I thought this image was going to be too big for the door, but then I got to thinking that it is wall art. So I'm going to use as much of the door as I can. So I have my image projected up onto the door. Now I'm going to use a Sharpie and I'm just going to trace out around all the black lines for now. And that's just going to give me reference points. Uh, that's all I'm looking for right now is reference points because whenever I fill it all in with paint is whenever we'll actually get our finished lines and all that good stuff. So I have most of it all traced out. Get up close so you can see. And I know right now it doesn't look that impressive because it's just kind of traced out onto the door. As we start adding color to this, this is gonna start looking a ton better. Door's all painted up, looking good. We'll get in here so you can check things out. Everything is still wet on there as far as the white, the browns, and that kind of stuff. The black is starting to dry pretty good here. And the red and all that is, is dry, the blue's dry. But. That's our logo, looking pretty good on the door. The only thing I didn't do is I didn't put our name on there and uh, that kind of stuff. I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to put the name on there yet. I am going to paint it on just like I did, but as far as the lettering that I want, 
I thought it would be kind of cool to put our name across the top and then customs along the bottom or something like that. Uh, so I don't know. I could always do like we always do is uh, put our name inside the wagon there and then customs in between the two wheels. I don't know yet. I'm gonna think about that a little bit before I finish this because it is gonna be hanging up inside my shop. But I am pretty stoked about how it all came out. Not all the colors are exactly right, like this tan up here, or this gray, whatever you wanna call it. This gray that's up here is actually supposed to be a darker brown. I didn't, couldn't find dark brown though uh, in car model paint. I probably could have if I had used the actual paint that I needed to use. But like I said, I used all car, car model paint on this and uh, it turns out pretty good. Considering it's gonna be inside the shop and not in the weather and that kind of stuff, I think it looks pretty good. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And hope you uh, enjoyed watching me paint on a door. <laughs> Until next time, be safe. Thanks for watching. Later. <laughs>